Good morning, students. Welcome back to Biology Classroom once again. After the exam, already I have started the chapter five, excretory system. So today I am going to discuss structure of kidneys. Look at the book. Very vital topic. And the second term question. Question will be objective and subjective in both type. So be careful. The decomposition of unused food proteins. in the liver produces urea as waste this urea goes into blood the blood in our body is constantly passing through our kidneys so how does normally urea is formed when unused food proteins decomposition in liver it produces urea as a waste product and urea goes into the blood and it constantly passing through kidneys this happen as follows each kidney contains a thousands of tiny filters called nephrons so the structural and the functional unit of kidneys are nephrons they are tiny filter like structure when the blood containing urea and the other waste salt passes through the nephron in the kidneys the nephron filters the blood and remove the other unwanted salt so when the unwanted harmful substances passing through kidneys the filter actually nephron act as a filter and remove the dust particles i mean unwanted harmful substances i mean dissolve salts and urea also now the structure of nephron here is a structure of nephron the nephron has a cup shaped bag at its upper end which is called bowman capsule the lower end of bowman capsule is a tube shaped and it is called tubule the bowman capsule and the tubule taken together make a nephron one end of the tubule is connected to the bowman's capsule and its other end is connected to the urine collecting duct of kidneys i mean ureter the bowman capsule containing a bundle of capillaries which is called glomerulus plural me glomeruli so what is the main function of nephron look at here here is a cup shaped structure at the upper end of the nephron that is known as bowman capsule and the bowman capsule is consist of lots of blood capillaries these are known as glomerulus in case of plural form that is known as glomeruli and the lower end of the bowman capsule is a tubular structure and it is fused together this is known as urinary tubule the one end of the bowman capsule it is attached with the kidneys which actually collect the impure blood the other end it is attached with urinary tubule here is a u like shape structure that is known as loop of henle or henle loop now one end of the glomerulus is attached to the renal artery which brings the impure blood containing the urea waste into it the other end of the glomerulus comes out of the bowman capsule as the blood capillaries surrounded by tubules and nephrons and finally joins a renal vein so one end of the glomerulus it is attached with the renal artery that is brings out the impure blood and the other end it is attached with the renal vein whereas the fresh blood is released i mean re removed different types of unwanted substances this kind of blood is released here renal vein the liquid left in kidneys is a yellowish liquid called urine which contains urea other waste salts and excess water the urine formed in the kidneys goes into the bladder through the tubes called ureter urine is stored in the bladder bladder is also called urinary bladder urine is a yellowish liquid which contains 2.5% urea 2.5% other waste salts and 95% water and adult human beings normally passes out 1 to 1.8 year 1 to 1.8 liters of urine per day so student you be careful about the composition of urine and the how much of urine is released by adult body so once again i will discuss the structure here is a cup like shaped at the upper end of nephron that is known as bowman capsule and the lower end of bowman capsule it is a tubular structure that is known as urinary tubule 
Bauman capsule is other end is connected with car <coughs> connect urea collecting duct. I mean that is known as ureter. The Bauman capsule is consists of lots of blood capillaries that is known as glomerulus. In case of plural, that is known as glomeruli. One end of Bauman capsule that is attached with the renal artery, which brings the impure blood. And the other end attached with the renal vein that is surrounded by the lots of blood capillaries. Here is the release, the fresh blood. I mean, remove the different types of unwanted substance. Usko filter karne ke baad, yaha pe fresh blood release hota hai. So, totally filter karne ke baad, kidney pe, normally, yellowish liquid left raha jata hai. Jiska kum kya bolenge? Urine. The urine form in the kidneys goes into the bladder. That is known as ureter. So, normally urine form hone ke baad, kidney se nikalne wala jo tube hai, that is known as ureter. That is collect the blood. Sorry, urine and it's stored into the bladder that is known as urinary bladder. Urine is consists of 95% of water, 2.5% urea and 2.5% of unwanted salts. And every adult releases 1 to 1.8 liters of urine per day. So now, test your understanding. Name the following. A term used to denote the removal of waste materials produced in the cells of the living organism that is known as excretion. Excretory organs responsible for the removal of the carbon dioxide during exhalation, that is lungs. A major waste product of our body that is removed from our blood by kidneys, that is urea. Narrow tubes which runs from inner side of each kidney and carry urine from kidneys to the bladder, ureter. Thousands of teeny filters present in the each kidney that is known as nephrons. And the last one is a cup shaped bag at the upper end of nephron that is known as Bauman capsules. So student, I hope all of you understood. So for today, after this portion.